Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day uh, So today I'll continue discuss exercise 3.1 question number 1 Okay, I'm really sorry my previous uh, video I don't have the end uh, session Okay, uh, but now uh, I will discuss question number 1 exercise 3.2 Okay, uh, this is about um, hypothesis testing for one population mean Okay Uh, if you read the question, okay, a lecturer state that the IQ st score for IPT student should be higher than other people IQs, which is known to be normally distributed with mean 110 and standard deviation 10. So you can see here, right? They are talking about IQ score, okay. They are talking about IQ score here for IPT student. All right, should be higher. Okay, the word higher is important as well here. Higher than other people's IQ. Okay, which is known to be normally distributed. That means it's known. Okay, with mean 110 and standard deviation 10. So now, if you look from the first sentence, this mean. 110 is it mu or x bar so here because we didn't know what is the sample size and then the keyword here is known to be normally distributed this mean 110 shows you mu the population mean all right so that's mean you have mu 110 okay and then this standard deviation Is it sigma or is it s? So it will be sigma because it's known here and you didn't know this standard deviation come from which sample size. Okay, so that's why you will have sigma equal with 10. Alright, yeah. So that's from the first sentence. So basically in statistic, you must read from sentence to sentence and then each sentence you must look what's the information that you get. Okay. Alright, to prove this hypothesis, 25 IPT students were chosen. Alright, so what is 25 IPT? It's a sample lah. It's a sample size, isn't it? We chose or uh, we we randomly take 25 IPT students. Right, so this is your sample size. Okay, and they were given an IQ test. Then we give them IQ test. Okay. The result shows that the mean IQ score for 25 IPT student is 114. So what is it? This is the mean IQ score for 25 IPT student, 114. So this mean is come from this 25 sample, isn't it? So that's why here you will get X bar equal with 114. Okay. Right, so this is 100 114 okay. right so that's the information that we get now the question based on previous study it is known that the standard deviation of IQ score for IPT student is 10 and again from this sentence they mention it is known that the standard deviation of IQ score for IPT student is 10 so this is what they say again okay even from the first sentence we can understand um, this is a standard deviation it's a sigma okay but he I mean the question highlight again at the second last sentence it is known the standard deviation for IQ score for IPT is 10 okay So the question is, can we accept his hypothesis at alpha 0.05? So what is his hypothesis? We refer back from the first sentence here. His hypothesis mentioned the IPT student should be higher than other people's IQ. Okay, that's mean the mu for IPT student is greater than uh, 110, isn't it? Right? 
So that's why uh, you must understand Welsh his hypothesis. So you look back at the uh, sentence uh, first sentence. All right. Okay, at alpha 0.05 so and again from here this is hypothesis testing uh, because they asked hypothesis testing they didn't ask confident interval alright ok so this is the information that we get from previous ok uh, now uh, they ask you to find uh, his hypothesis ok can we accept his hypothesis at alpha 0.05 or not ok so what is hypothesis his hypothesis is uh, the IQ score for IPT student should be higher than other people's IQs. Okay, so now your first step is to write down your hypothesis. Okay, your H now. Okay, and your H1. Okay, right. So in this uh, step, you must know what is the parameter they're concerned about. Okay, if you look this question from the question, they just say his hypothesis. So, what is his hypothesis? Is IQ score. And here they didn't mention is it mean, is it proportion, or is it sigma, or is it uh, sigma square. Okay, but when we are talking about IQ score, okay, the most appropriate uh, parameter to be hypothesize or to be test is using mu using mean okay so that's why in the step number one here the parameter that they're concerned about is mu all right and this is one population mu okay they, they want to compare you okay they, they want to compare iq score for ipt student and people iq no they just say that the iq score for ipt student should be higher than people's iq so, people IQ uh, mu is 110, isn't it? So, the IQ score for IPT student should be higher. So, this mu is for IQ score for IPT student. Okay, should be higher than. So, higher than when you transform into mathematical notation, it will be greater, isn't it? It's not greater than equal. It's just greater than, right? So, you don't have any equal sign here. So, when you don't have any equal signs here, is it H now or H1? So, it should be at H1. Okay. So, greater than what? Greater than other people IQs. So, what is the mu for other people IQs? Is 110. So, here should be 110. Alright. Now, so this is your claim. Okay. Usually, whatever you get from the question is your claim. Alright. So, for H now, it will be the other way around. Okay. So, here is greater than. This one should be less than equal. 110. Alright. So, this is your first step. Okay. But at the first step, okay, I want you to look. Okay. Is it two tail test or one tail test? So, if you look H1, it's greater than. It shows you it's a one tail test. Is it right tail or left tail? So, here is greater than. It should be right tail test. So, here is the area of your rejection region. Okay. Alright. So, this uh, curve, okay, is quite important. Okay. If you draw, you can see clearly where is the rejection region, where is the accepted region. Okay. Again, at the dark side here is a rejection region. And then, what is your alpha value? 0 0.05, isn't it? So, do we need to divide by 2 or not? Since this is right tail test, one tail test, so we do not need to divide by two. Okay, you must alert at step number one. Okay, now we move to step number two. So step number two is test statistic. Okay, you know that from previous video, there are three formula to be used if you deal with one population mean. Okay, uh, you must check the condition first. Is it the population variance known or unknown? Okay, if you look here from the detail uh, or from the information that you get from the question, you have sigma 10. So, that means, do you know the population variance or not? Because you have the value, the sigma value or the sigma squared value, it shows that the population variance known 
the population variance is known or the standard deviation uh, the population standard deviation is known okay so when it's known no need to check the sample size is it greater than or less than okay you just look the formula so if you remember from the previous previous slide uh, this one all right if the population variance is known this is the formula all right again the formula is given you can look your statistical table page 5 if i'm not mistaken so you can use this formula so you can see from this formula x bar minus mu naught divided by sigma over square root n okay you have your x bar you have your sigma you have your n and you also have your mu naught okay okay so this is the formula that you should use okay your x bar is this one 114 and then your mu naught you get from here your step one 110 or you can see from here 110 and then sigma is 10 and then divide by square root n n is 25 okay you just substitute all the value into the formula here so after you substitute the value into the formula you calculate you will get 2 Alright, so this is exactly 2, so no need to 4 decimal places. But if you have other value at the back too, you must have 4 decimal places. Alright, so now we move to step number 3. Okay, so step number 3, you must know your critical value. Alright, so critical value, you get it from your statistical table. Okay. Since in step 2, you use Z-test, so you must refer Z-table, okay? So, Z-table, okay? Page 36, if I'm not mistaken, alright? So, your alpha is 0 0.05, no need to divide by 2, okay? So, if you look the value from the statistical table, page 36, okay? Mm. You can see that the value is, let me check, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 1.6449, okay. Uh, yes, okay. The value is 1.6449, okay. At this at, at this stage or at this step, you must know, you must uh, clear, is it positive value or negative value? So, if you look your step number one, it's greater than, it's on your right, isn't it? So, the value here should be positive, okay? So, here is positive 1.6449, okay? So, that is your step number three. Okay, if you have less than here, so the value should be at the left. So, this one should be negative value lah. Okay, but in this case, the H1 is greater than, it's a right side. So, the value of Z table or critical value here should be positive. Okay, so now step number 4. So, step number 4, you want to reject or to accept the, hypothesis, the null hypothesis. Okay, so you can use this curve. Okay, for sure there is a formal uh, writing. Okay, how to reject or to accept. Okay, so how to reject or to accept. Okay, usually I will ask student to remember one way. Reject H null when Z test is greater than Z table. Okay, because this is right tail. So that's why we look or compare the value should be greater than the critical value. Okay, so if you look the Z test value here is 2. So is it at the dark side or at the bright side? It's here, isn't it? 2 is greater than 1.6449. So your decision is reject H now. Okay, you reject H now. So again here, you must know how to reject H now. Okay, in this case, reject H null when Z test greater than Z table. Okay, so how to write is similar with previous, uh, this one. Okay, 
Uh, but in this case, because two tail, so they compare with two side and then uh, coincidentally the value is less than negative 1.96. So this is how you write. Okay, uh, I will try show you how to write it here. Okay. Okay, so if you look the slide here, uh, this is your uh, official how to write the decision. Okay. Uh, that's meant uh, you can see that you compare okay this is your step 4 you compare uh, z test greater than z table okay since this at, at rejection region you reject h now okay right so step number 5 okay this is the full solution so you can see that this is step number 5, okay? At alpha 0 0.05, the IQ score for IPT student is higher than other people. Okay, because here, you reject hash now. This is your hash now, you reject. So, that's mean this is what you get. So, what you get is your uh, conclusion, okay? That's mean your IQ score for IPT student is higher than other people. We accept the hypothesis at alpha 0 0.05. So you can see, you should write the alpha 0 0.05 as well here because sometimes different uh, significant uh, value, different conclusion or different decision you get. Right? So again, this is the overall uh, solution. Okay? Uh, so you can see here, this is the information that you get. This is your step number one, hypothesis testing. And then this is your step number two, uh, test statistic. And then here, your step number 3, critical value. And then this one is step number 4. You decide either to reject or to accept hash now. And then finally, is your conclusion. Okay. Alright. So, for sure, as a student, alright, you must try other question here. Okay. Maybe for my student. Okay. I would like to see question number uh, 4. Right, number four. Okay, we'll discuss it online. Okay, during the online class lah. So I think that's all for today. Thank you, class.